work off all that sweetness. So in this lab, you're going to practice all of the things that you've learned up until now. You'll notice I have an H1, an H2, an image with no background. This is a PNG. I've got a navigation area with some hover. I've got six pages. This is a big lab, but you'll notice by doing an attached CSS file, you can use the same file for all the pages. Uh, I've got a main section. This is the header section. This is the nav section. This is the main section, and this is the footer. Each of these is organized similarly. This is the same nav. It's just got two different H1 and H2s, and they all have numbered instructions with a bulleted list. So <clears throat> each of these looks the same. It's got a different footer on each of the pages than the home has. So the same format, part two, there it is, the same thing, same footer. It's just a different set of instructions. So I just wanted you to have a little preview of what this lab looks like. Of course, you'll begin by downloading this file. And once it's downloaded, you'll extract or unzip it. And then we'll open it in Visual Studio Code. I'll start with you here in this video. So unzip or extract. There's my Pilates lab. I want you to move that into your Documents folder, into your Website Production folder, and into Week 4. Now, I'll open up Visual Studio Code, choose File, Open Folder, navigate to my Documents folder, my Week 4 folder, and my Pilates Lab 3. Here it is. You'll notice it's just an Assets folder. So I've got an Images folder in here. I've got three PDFs, because I want you to learn how to attach the PDFs. And I've got a TXT file. Remember that when we rename this to index.html, we'll have to move it out of the Assets folder. I'll do that with my File Explorer menu. So with this three-column view, I can easily move the Pilates.txt in to this column so that it's beside the Assets folder. So now Pilates.txt uh, is not in the Assets folder. And you s should see it reflected over here as well. I can close the Assets folder and still see Pilates.txt. I'll rename it, and in the next video, we'll get started. Remember, it's going to be index.html. Always, that should be the first name of every first page of a website.